Hi, um, I'm Steve Stahl. I lead the Markets Research Program at Ilri. And uh, this week we're just wrapping up two days of uh, stakeholder consultation on our mega program planned on uh, livestock and fish. And then another two days of working with the CG partners on that in terms of developing the full sort of proposal. Um, I think an interesting angle of this is the fact that it's this mega program will help Ilri to do to work in ways which we have been trying to work for some years and never really fully achieved I think in the sense that we are trying now to integrate our technology research including animal health breeding genetics and feeds with kind of a value chains perspective so it's based on what what the, the, the needs are on the ground for technology and sort of the institutional, organizational, the market, the sort of the innovation needs to make technology be taken up and, and have it the desired impact. But then it also integrates into it the targeting, the, the impact assessment, the m and &E, gender equity types of analysis that we have increasingly been trying to sort of integrate but have not yet fully sort of achieved and to do it kind of in a harmonized way. So in a sense it takes some of the current, all of the current ILRI themes and integrates them into one, one cohesive program and the organizing kind of mechanism is a specific or a set of specific value chains meaning a certain species system in a certain country or region such as pigs in Vietnam or dairy in, in India which are two of the examples. Of. What kind of risks or threats do you see in such an approach? There are some risks in the sense that we're picking sort of a narrower set of countries and systems than we currently operate in so we're gonna have to sort of adjust our resources over time to sort of focus more on those um, and there'll be maybe some risks implicit in, um, in how we sort of get to better integrate the different disciplines and sort of skills and, and approaches that, that will be required to make this happen. But I think that's, a, that's kind of a, that's an exciting challenge, you know, because if we can achieve that, then that will be great. And, and it sounds like partnerships is going to be a key element of this. Right? Absolutely. Partnerships and communications because um, the, the intent of this is that we will be leveraging particularly development partners but also advocacy partners, decision makers and so on to sort of achieve the aims of the, I mean the way the program is designed, if we try to do it on our own, we will not succeed.